Boring. Okay. 9, 28, 22. We are going to be dividing fractions. I'm going to teach you in like 10 seconds how to divide fractions. No, we're going to keep it, ladies and gentlemen, as fractions. Um, it's actually uh, pretty easy. There is a, you know, we may or may not remember from previous years. So, two-thirds divided by four over nine. Now, does anybody know what to do with dividing fractions? Uh, um, what is, uh, yes? You divide from across. Okay, okay. Anybody else? So, yes? Uh, Go ahead, I'm listening. Uh, you, divide, uh, you divide the like, Interesting, okay. So, in reality, we actually don't divide fractions. We will not be dividing fractions. We are actually gonna convert it into a multiplication problem. Yes? Okay, so we are going to Keep the first, so write it underneath the first fraction. You keep it. Oh, comma. Change what? Yep. Change the division to multiplication, comma, cruise. And then we're going to what is called flip the second fraction. So you're going to keep the first fraction. Change division to multiplication and you literally flip the fraction like you literally flip it so four over nine turns into nine over four I literally said that okay so let's do it two-thirds keep it the same two-thirds division turns into and then you flip it keep the first one change division to multiplication and you literally just flip and that's it okay now you just multiply but of course I would like you to simplify the corners okay if you simplify the corners you end up doing a lot less work Richard at the end so let's look at the corners. Two and four. What can you divide two. two and four by? Two. Okay, so everybody do divide by two, tell me an answer. Divide by two, tell me an answer. One, two, three, two, one. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is one. Okay, two divided by two? One. one. Four divided by two? Two. Okay. Now check your other corners. Divide by three. What can I divide three and nine by? Three. three. All right, do it before I do it. Divide by three, divide by three. Three divided by three? One. One. Nine divided by three. three. All right, now we're gonna multiply on the top. What two numbers do we multiply on the top? One and three, One and three gives you? On the bottom, two. one times two gives you two, and we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. So do we technically divide fractions, Daniel? Nope, we're gonna keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. All right, let's do a second problem. Do I expect you to memorize it and understand it the first time? No, actually, yeah, I do. But you know, I'm gonna say no, it takes two or three times for you to realize. Took you a second to understand it. Okay, step one. Keep. Step two. 
Change. Step three. Flip. Is that better? But it's different representation, you know, different way of organizing it, wicker. Like, I think, I think you should like, put a description be, under each. Why should it be instead of A, C, F? Why not, instead of moving that C to where the F is, and then it can be K or C. But, I mean, does an F, how do we flip it to multiplication? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can just flip. Okay. But change it to what, you know? And then just change it. Again. Oh my god, look. This has been in math for billions of years, all right? We can't just change it now. All right, so keep your first fraction, 3 over 5. Division turns into? Multiplication. Multiplication. Oh, I forgot to write that. Keep, change, flip. K, C, F. And then what does 6 over 9 convert into? 9 over 6. Now, you check your corners. Five and nine, is there anything I can divide five and nine by? No, and sometimes that happens. There's nothing there. So then you check your other corners. Three and six, is there anything I can divide three and six by? Okay, so everybody divide by three before I do, please. So this turns into a one, circle it. Six divided by three is two, circle it. What's one times nine? Nine. Nine. What's five times two? Ten. And that's your final answer. We get that before? Yes. Yeah. Good. All right. Keep, change, flip. Now, did we flip when we're adding and subtracting? No. Did we flip when we were just multiplying? No. No. So the number one mistake kids do is they'll start flipping all the other operations. It's like, no, 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 no. We didn't flip until today. And we've been doing fractions for a minute. So don't be flipping anything. You only flip when you see a division sign because it flips us out. All right, level two. Two and one half divided by seven over 22. Why is this level two? Yeah. It's a mixed number, but yesterday we practiced how to change a mixed number into an improper yeah. by multiplying, multiplying and adding. Real two simple. Well, I'm still, I mean, we're doing step by step, you know? First, change this. Eventually you'll be able to do two steps in one. Now I'm going to keep, change, flip. KFC. K K times 22 over seven. K All right, I definitely don't want to do five times 22 mm -hmm. and then two times 17 and simplify. I want to check your corners. So if I check this corner, five and seven, can I do anything with five and seven? No. Nope. Two and 22. Two. Two. number and you can't, you just can't like divide by anything, deal with it? Yeah. But for the most part, you're gonna probably be able to do something with it. So let's do two divided by two. 11. Oh, okay. One. Stay with us. Um. We got to stay with it. Don't don't lose. Don't don't go into outer space. Stay with me. Are you staying with me? Yeah. Good. I know. Yeah. Come back. 22 divided by 2? 11. 11. And then what's our final answer? And we're going to leave it like that. Okay? Leave it like that. Any questions? Is this class almost over? Uh, we have 10 minutes, which means I'm going to give you guys about 7 minutes.
I mean, as an earring, sprinkles are way better because the glaze can't really tell them. My opinion was. It's certain this year. I don't know. Started as a joke and then it just spiraled out of control. All right. Trust me, I should not be eating donuts. Uh, holes are on the left side. That's your front side. Your first fraction is one half divided by two thirds. If you're awesome and you're ready to go, go. If you need to stay with me, I'm going to do one more problem with you. Remember, you're going to keep, change, flip. If you need your multiplication table out, have your multiplication table out. No big deal. Okay, first fraction stays the same. It is one half. Division turns into multiplication. And then you flip this. So how do I write this fraction? Three over two. Three over two. Okay, then. Okay, we figured it out. We're good. We're moving on. So, check my corners. Is there anything I can simplify by? No. Nope. So, you just multiply straight across. What's 1 times 3? Three? 3. What's 2 times 2? Two? 4. So, your final answer is 3 over 4. So, you just, if you can't simplify corners, or listen. If you can't simplify corners, or you just don't understand what we mean by simplifying corners, then you just get to multiply straight across, okay? So if you're like, I don't understand this whole corner thing, Miss O'Malley, cool. Multiply straight across like that. You just have to simplify after I mean, what else do Corners. Because if you don't do corners, I think one of the, uh, one of the problems you're gonna do right now it ends up being like 68 over like 64 or something. And it's like, okay, we'll simplify that. And of course it's not that terrible, but kids are dealing with big numbers and it's scary. Oh. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. I'm gonna come around and check some of your answers. Go.